Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm wearing a dress today. Am I fancy? I'm so fancy. Um, yeah, and actually I haven't waxed my legs, but um, it's winter, so who the heck cares? So today's video is not going to be a tutorial or a review video. Does a favorites video count as a review video? Maybe. But today's video is going to be my favorite brushes of video. They're all brushes that I love, that I use consistently, that are filthy right now because I use them so much. And I actually just washed these like two days ago and half of them are dirty. You might have noticed that in previous videos, in more recent videos, I have been uh, going a lot more in depth with what brushes I'm using and why I'm using that brush and basically uh, brushes in general. And the reason for that is that I just feel like brushes aren't really talked about as much as they could be here on YouTube and on social media and the beauty community in general because brushes are really so important when it comes to your makeup. I can't tell you how many times a brush has just made me just sit back and think, wow, I can do so much with this brush because Yes, you can have like a fluffy brush, yes, you can have a more dense brush and that's it, but there's so many different things you can do with brushes and the shape and the density and just the way the brush is made can really just change the way your makeup applies. These are my favorite, my top brushes. I have a variety of different brands, different price points. Most of these are very affordable, so there's something in here for everyone. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into it and show you what I have. I definitely do have quite a bit. So yeah, I've been rambling for quite a while, so I should probably get into this video. So, as I said, these brushes are a little bit dirty. Um, that's because I've been doing a lot of makeup recently, but, uh, yeah, I washed these brushes like a few days ago, and, yeah. And I was actually thinking of washing them specifically for this video, but then I was like, you know what, might as well keep it real, because these are definitely brushes that I use all the time, and I feel like every time I wash these brushes, they get dirty again. So, the, I'm going to start in order of face. So, when it comes to foundation brushes... Oh boy, do I have a lot. I'm going to start with a brush that um, I use most often. This is the Morphe M439 brush. This, as you can see, is filthy, filthy, filthy. Well, not too filthy. It's just, it's a little bit of a dirty fella. This is the brush that I use every single day, and I love it. The number one thing that really attracts me to this brush in general, and the reason that, that I use this brush so much, is the fact that it will put your foundation on really quickly. When I'm getting ready in the morning, I'm most likely doing it with a whole, with no sleep, I'm very tired, and I just want to get out the door and get to school. So what I do is I just put some foundation on the back of my head, and then I use this brush to apply it, and then my foundation is done within like 10 seconds max, which for foundation, for all the blending and the application that goes into it, is pretty short, you know? I can just blend out my foundation really quickly, and it is all thanks to this brush. Just because of how dense this is and how the brush is shaped, I feel like it's a rounded brush, which really makes it easy for me to maneuver it and just makes it easy for me to use it. The next two brushes are brushes that I actually was using before I bought that one, and these are brushes that I still love that I still use. Um, I'm just going to mention both of these together. These are the Real Techniques uh, Sculpting Brush. This is a sculpting brush. And then the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I find that this brush, if you're looking for an alternative when it comes to the density and how this brush performs, this is a really similar dupe, I guess. But as you can see, the shape is quite different. And yes, it does take me a while to apply my foundation with this brush. Not that long, but when I compare it to this, brush it takes me longer to apply my makeup with this brush so yeah was that confusing do you get my gist but in general this is definitely one of my favorite foundation brushes I still use it from time to time whenever this brush is drying when I've washed it or when I just can't find this brush this brush is the one I tend to gravitate towards and then the other one is a Real Techniques buffing brush now this is what I consider to be my emergency foundation brush. This is the brush that lives in my school bag, in my backpack, all at all times, because if I ever 
cry if I ever have like a stressful day if I ever need to retouch my makeup I need to have a brush or I need to have a sponge and this works so well it allows me to blend my foundation in a bit more without making everything move around it's just a really fantastic brush and that's what i use it for but when it comes to foundation this is really great at applying foundation and making it look incredibly natural the morphe brush this one it applies foundation but it does so in a very full coverage way this is great if you want like a sheer coverage if you really want it to look natural and buff if you really well <laughs> natural and buff ha <laughs> i wish this is the brush that you want to use if you really want a natural look with your foundation so this is a brush that you probably have seen me use a lot in my videos this is from ego tools it is an amazing brush brand that sells that has uh, brushes here in the US. I'm not sure if they sell in any other countries, but I love their brushes. I have used Eagle Tools brushes ever since I first started doing makeup, when I first started putting on makeup for like stage and just that sort of thing. I bought, well, my mom bought Eagle Tools brushes and I still have them and they're still in very good condition. This though is a brush that I really love just for contouring. If you're looking for something like this, which is quite a natural contour, it is very easy, it's not really overdone, this is the type of brush that you might want to go for. I love this brush in particular because it's just so fluffy, it's big, and it sort of just almost hugs my cheekbone and deposits color in the exact right way, so I'm able to create a natural shadow on my face it's not overdone but yeah I use this every day I love it it's one of my favorites this is a foundation brush I forgot to mention this is a newer one that I have been using like crazy this is the morphe e8 brush Whew, this is what can I say about this brush this is a brush that when you look at it you're like okay how the heck would you be able to use this brush and justify spending money on it but if you have a brush like this and it's huge and it's fat and you're like, it's too big, I can't handle this. Well, I'm joking. But uh, basically, if you have a brush like this and you want to get like in the crevices of your face, if you want to get foundation like right here or around your nose or just in specific areas that you don't want to necessarily go in with this brush in, does that make any sense? Then this is amazing because what I can do is I can just take my foundation and just go in like right here, like right along my brow bone and just down the sides of my nose, just in places I want to be a little bit more specific on. If I ever need more coverage in a certain area, this is a brush I use. So next up, I have a highlighter brush and this is one that you can't necessarily, oh, this is one that's debating on whether or not to put in this video because technically you can't buy it anywhere. It is a paintbrush. It is actually a brush that I got when I was in Moscow and when I got it I was looking for a paintbrush and then I sort of never ended up really using it as a paintbrush. I decided to use it as a highlighter brush and when I was cleaning out my art supplies a while ago I saw this brush and I was like, huh, I want to try this as a highlighter brush and see how and see how it goes, you know? And I tried it out and I've been using it ever since. So if you're looking for a highlighter brush, this is a really good type of brush to get because it is really small, like compared to say this brush, it is really tiny and I feel like that enables me to apply the highlight in specific areas like this part of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, without worrying about getting highlight everywhere, if that makes any sense. So when it comes to eye brushes, boy oh boy do I have a lot. I'm gonna start off with this brush, just because I feel like this is a brush I use every single time I do my makeup. This is a brush from Real Techniques. As you can see, it is a dome shape. It's very, very dense. It is called the Deluxe Crease Brush. Personally, I would never, ever use this in my crease just because it is so dense. Instead, I use this as a crossover between an eye and a face brush. So whenever I wanna do delicate foundation work, um, which usually includes me applying foundation like in specific areas such as my under eye or just even my brow bone, or even just using this to apply base to my entire eyelid, I wanna use a brush that is dense, but not enormous, like this brush or even this brush. I wanna use a brush that will maximize the amount of coverage I get, but will still be tiny enough to be very precise and very easy to use. Even if you're using a less dense brush to apply your foundation, like say this brush, 
this will really help you out because you can use it to apply foundation or even concealer specifically to the area that you want to apply it to and what's great about this brush is that it also helps you blend things out really well. Moving on I have a few brushes that I would sort of classify as maybe packing brushes. These are all really inexpensive brushes that I really love. Um, this is the first one. This is from the Eco Tools brand that I was mentioning to you earlier. This is a really great brush to have because the density of it and the fact that it kind of tapers at the top to a slight point means that you can use it really easily as a packing brush to put the first layer of eyeshadow on your face or if you just want to define your eye a bit, if you want to take a smokier shade and just use it to define the outer portion of your eye, this is one that I usually try to go for. Then I have a different brush. This is from uh, e.l.f. Cosmetics and this is called their Smudge Brush. This is short, it's wide, and it is one of the most dense eye brushes that I own. This is amazing for working on the lower lash line if you really want to smoke out your lower lash line, if you want to smudge out some eyeliner, or if you just want to just pack on some color. It is a brush that I really love using. It was also from the drugstore, meaning that it is about $3 or even $2. It is very inexpensive and this brush has lasted me for about two and a half years I believe. It has lasted me a very long time and it still works really well. I use it all the time. And then my favorite flat brush that I have, this is from Colourpop Cosmetics and this is just their flat brush. Pretty standard but I love how dense it is. It is very dense. It's not going to flip flop around. You can use this to really uh, give like a very pigmented wash of color on the eyes and since this brush is synthetic you can also use this to apply some of their creamier eyeshadows like the super shock eyeshadows those eyeshadows I either use this brush or I use my fingers to apply them. It's always one of the two. And recently I have been using this brush a lot more, not just for their super shock eyeshadows, but also for my powder eyeshadows. It's just a really easy brush to work with. It definitely gives the most color payoff compared to any of my other flat brushes. So I think that if you're looking for a good flat packing brush, this is probably the one I'd recommend the most. And then this is another one from um, e.l.f. This is their concealer brush. I don't know why that this would be a concealer brush. I don't, maybe, I actually, yeah, I guess I could use this as a concealer brush. This is what it looks like right here. I love this because it's dense, but not too dense, meaning that you can use this to apply eyeshadow with and it will give you this very opaque wash of color, which is why I find myself using this brush a lot when it comes to just really laying down the color on my eyes. And like the other smudge brush that I mentioned also from e.l.f., the, this is also very inexpensive, which is why I think that if you're looking for a brush that is very good quality, but you're on, but you're on a budget and you don't want to spend too much, this is definitely one that I would recommend checking out. Finally, hitting the home stretch here. So first I want to talk about the crease slash blending brushes in this set that I have here. This is probably one you've already heard of. This is the Morphe M441. So this is one that's a little bit um, more fat. It definitely has more bristles packed into here. Um, they're a little bit more long. Long, but they have like that sort of rounded top which makes it very easy to just blend out my crease really efficiently. I love this brush. I use it almost every single day. That's why it's so dirty right now. I used it yesterday and I actually used it today to create this makeup look right here. But this is an amazing brush that I love. Love, love. You probably have heard a lot of people talk about this brush. It really is one of my top favorite crease brushes probably of all time. It is very easy to use. I love it. So whenever I want to apply a wash of color to my crease or even to my eyelid, I typically go for this brush just because it's still dense that it gives me quite a lot of pigment, but it still is fluffy enough that it makes blending really easy and pretty much a breeze. So yeah, this is probably one of my favorite brushes that I own in general out of this entire video. But uh, when it comes to blending specifically, this is my number one blending brush when it comes to eyes. So this is the Morphe M505 brush. I actually got this, and I'm very proud of this. I got this before many people were talking about it. As you can see, it is a very fat brush. It definitely has a lot of bristles in there, but it's very, very soft. A lot more so than even uh, the Morphe M441 from that I showed you just now. It has that rounded top. It, has, it is a little bit flared. This is a really easy brush to use whenever you have a choppy eye look. Whenever I have a very unblended choppy crease, I 
always, always, always use this brush to help me out. I usually just use this by itself, but every now and then I do like to dip it into some translucent powder or just a lighter eyeshadow and just use this to help blend out my eyeshadow and within just a matter of seconds my eyeshadow look is just so much more blended it looks so much more seamless and it's all thanks to this brush this next brush is one that I don't use as much you can see that it is still pretty clean since I did I did wash these two days ago as I said before but this is definitely one that I love love for smoky eyes it picks up the color really well it deposits it really well and I'm able to create a very pigmented a very opaque looking eye look with this brush which is why I love it so much. Before I got this brush I used this brush to apply color all over my entire lid and even though I really like this brush it didn't really work out as well as it could have because of how fluffy and how long it is. Because this brush is shorter, it's a little bit more wide, it's more dense, it deposits color a lot better and in a more opaque way than any other blending brush that I own. So whenever I do a smoky eye, I first deposit the color with this brush and then I use another brush like say this brush or even the Morphe M441 brushes to blend things out a bit but when, it, but when it comes to depositing color, this is my favorite brush. Next up are some brushes that I got definitely a lot more recently and when I got these brushes, I was like, okay, where have you been all my life? Because I never really had really small blending brushes. I never really felt the need to get them until recently. And when I did get them, I was like, oh my god, this makes life so much easier, you know? Uh, so this first one I want to share with you is the Morphe E17 brush. This is like a less dense, slightly more fluffy and larger version of a pencil brush, meaning that you can use this to deposit color really well and you can use this to work in like the crevices of your eye and you can use it to work in really small spaces, but at the same time, you can also use this to make sure that your eyeshadow is very blended. I love using this, especially in my under eye area. Whenever I'm doing a very smoky eye, I use, I use this today actually to really smoke out my bottom lash line. And especially when it comes to just smoking out my upper lash line as well, the size makes it especially easy for me to lay down color without worrying about uh, being clumsy or getting the color where I don't want it, if that makes any sense. And this is a brush that I've been using a lot ever since I got it, like about two months ago. It is one of my favorite brushes ever. It is really, really good. And I don't know where I'd be without it. And it's only been two months. Now I want to quickly touch on some really um, tiny brushes that I find are very important to my heart and soul. These are three last brushes I want to mention today. Um, the first one is from e.l.f. and it's called their concealer brush. This is another concealer brush, except that this one is super tiny. This is what it looks like right here. I love this brush specifically for inner corner highlight. When you want to create a really beaming inner corner highlight and you really want to concentrate that color on your lid, I would really suggest using a dense, flat, teeny tiny brush like this one. And also if you want to use this brush as a way to line your top or your bottom waterline, you can use this as well. I really like the way it makes it easy for me to apply liner to my lower lash line specifically. I just feel like it's a small yet very useful brush Plus, the price makes it very easy and very accessible to pretty much everyone. So, this is one that I really do love. Then, I want to talk about my angled brushes. And, boy oh boy, these are probably my favorite kinds of brushes. Angled brushes are probably the brushes in general that I could never do without. Whenever it comes to like certain blending brushes or certain packing brushes, I can use other brushes to sort of create the same effect, but when it comes to angled brushes, there's just nothing else that you can use except another angled brush, you know what I mean? So I have two that I really love. The first one is the Morphe, well, this is the Morphe B45. The name has completely rubbed off. But this is an angled brush. It's super tiny. And then the other one is the EcoTools brush. This is a very old brush that is very dirty because I use it every single day. And I have been using it today and yesterday and the day before that. But then I washed it. So yeah, it was clean but not dirty. This is what they look like right here. As you can see, they're tiny, they're angled, and they're my little, they're my little lover birds, my little hullabaloos, my little babies. But in all seriousness, when it comes to lining my eyes, when it comes to giving myself a winged eyeliner, when it comes to doing my eyebrows, 
These are the brushes that I use. And I have two, I have two English brushes because whenever I don't have this one, I have this one. Whenever I don't have this one, I have this one. You know, that's how it works. In general, when it comes to having a good, well-rounded brush collection, I definitely say that one of the best brushes to get are an angled brush it's just because you can use them for pretty much everything you can use them for liner for eyebrows for detail work on the eyes and also for your lips as well if you really want to create a very precise line with your lipstick or your liquid lipstick use an angled brush because that will really help you get that precision that you need so like i said angled brushes they're my babies that it's the end of this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching to the end. I really do hope that you learned something and that this video was informative and maybe just a little bit entertaining. Maybe. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.